Financial compatibility may not be high on the list of things you look for in a partner when you first start dating, but it's an important attribute for any long-term relationship. Hi viewers, and welcome back to Bestie. Whether it's traveling the world together, planning your dream wedding, or buying a home, every relationship has goals. And a lot of those goals are expensive. While everything might be rosy in the initial stages of the relationship, debt and financial issues can take their toll. Since we can't all have the luxury of having a partner who opens up about their finances, looking out for certain patterns and behaviors can help. In today's video, we'll tell you signs which indicate your partner is financially unstable. From being secretive about money, having too many credit cards, living a life they can't afford, no emergency fund to gambling and more. Number one, they refuse to split money on outings. If your partner shows little inclination to share expenses, take it as a sign of things to come. Either they're not serious about the relationship or expect to be financially supported by you. Unwillingness to split money might reflect a lack of respect for the partner's commitment or money, but could also point at a person who is not earning well or saving enough. They could even be a freeloader who is not fully invested in the relationship. If this continues for too long, it's a good idea to move on. Number two, they're secretive about money. We all have a right to privacy and to control our own money. But if you're saving for a trip together and your partner is lying about their purchases, this is concerning. If you've noticed money missing from your joint savings account, a lack of transparency about loans, or they aren't willing to discuss savings together, this could be the beginning of deceit and lies. Number three, they let the bills pile up. We all miss a deadline or two and fall victim to late fees, but if you're good with money, you'll learn not to do it again. If your partner is consistently letting bills pile up and doesn't seem to care enough to pay them, this is a sign they're not good with money. Number four, they borrow money and don't pay it back. Getting a helping hand from parents or friends is okay if your partner is out of work or if something unexpected happens, but they should be able to pay back all their debts and save so they won't need financial aid. Not paying back loans is a sign of irresponsibility and dependency. It may not be your problem right now, but it could be when they're sponging off you in the future. Number five, they have no financial goals. Many of us have financial goals that keep us on track when we see that accessory we don't need but want. These goals can be anything from deciding to improve your income to becoming economical with your spending. Such objectives can also be either short-term or long-term goals, like saving for your future kid's college or towards your business or buying a home. While your partner doesn't need to have the exact same financial goals as you, it's a red flag if they have none at all. Number six, they live off other people. No person is an island. Everybody needs somebody. However, you can always tell someone who's going through a rough patch apart from one who has made a habit of living off others' backs. If your partner is always asking for handouts despite having a job or spends their nights shuffling between friends' places to eat and sleep, that's a glaring sign they're not financially independent. Number seven, they gamble a lot. The question here isn't whether gambling in and of itself is bad, but whether the person who does it knows when to stop. There are tons of people who enjoy risking it once in a while, a go big or go home sort of thing. It's exciting, but can be just as devastating when you lose your hard-earned money. If they don't handle the addiction, it could soon be your money on the line. Another sign you should watch out for is when they tap into their emergency fund just to better their odds. When they get so obsessed with winning that they don't mind where the money comes from, even if it means incurring more debt, then you really need to talk to them. Number eight, they have bad credit. It's not exactly rocket science that someone who racks up credit card debt and never pays their bills on time will wind up with low or negative credit scores. Not that everyone with credit card debt is irresponsible financially, but you can clearly see the difference in their attitude. If yours truly can't point to one credible reason why they delay payment or owe so much, this could be a major issue. Number nine, they live a lifestyle they can't afford. Most mature individuals will only lead a life that they can afford. They might even live at a slightly lower level of comfort than what they can afford in order to save money. However, someone that's bad with money will live a much more expensive lifestyle. You might be receiving nice gifts all the time, being showered with expensive dinners or taken to the fanciest places, but your partner might not actually be able to afford it. They will have very little concern for the fact they live way over their means. Number 10, they never have enough money at the end of the month. Pretty much everyone goes through a time in life when they're living paycheck to paycheck, while for others it will be a long-term reality. And if you only make enough to pay your bills, that's totally understandable. But if your partner is living paycheck to paycheck because they're irresponsible with money, it's a major red flag. While living paycheck to paycheck can be necessary, many people do so because they overspend and don't budget properly. 
Number 11, they don't have any kind of savings. Having enough money to put into savings can be tricky, especially if your partner is doing that whole paycheck to paycheck thing. There's a big difference though between someone who can't save and someone who doesn't want to. And when the latter is the case, it could be cause for concern. Even people who struggle financially will try to save at least some money if it's important to them. While it's difficult to put away a lot of money at times, a failure to save anything at all indicates that saving isn't a personal value. Number 12, they have a significant amount of debt. Plenty of people have debt in the form of college loans, car payments, and credit card bills, but it's how they manage it that matters. If your partner comes into the relationship with a significant debt but keeps on spending, this could be a red flag that their financial skills are not up to par. Debt is not abnormal, and spending money is of course necessary, but the question is how the two pair up. If your partner is spending on luxuries while the credit card bills continue to rise, there might be a lack of responsibility here that should be paid attention to. Spending should be in step with income. Growing debt instead of shrinking it is not financially savvy. Did you know that money problems can have adverse effects on your health too? Get to know more of what we're talking about by watching How Money Problems Affect Your Health. Number 13, they lie about spending. Financial infidelity is a very real thing, and your partner could be doing it. Does your partner lie to you about what they're buying? Or perhaps they tell you they're saving when all they're doing is spending? If so, they're probably financially insecure and irresponsible. You shouldn't have to experience financial infidelity in a relationship, because there's no need to lie about money. Number 14, they don't have any emergency funds. An emergency fund is a pure cash account which exists for no other purpose than to cover unexpected financial disasters. If their emergency fund doesn't have sufficient cash to cover at least 30 days of living expenses, while three to six months is recommended, then they're living on the edge of financial oblivion. A single large unexpected expense or the loss of a paycheck for even a few weeks could quickly push them into a downward financial spiral. They may fall behind in your mortgage and other debt payments and find themselves unable to recover. Number 15, they have too many credit cards. There's no magic number of how many credit cards you should have as long as you're using them responsibly. A huge cause for concern is if your loved one seems to have a credit card for every occasion, yet payments aren't made by the due date or they're constantly canceling and creating new ones. If the debt they owe is credit card debt for overspending, this should indicate to you that they're financially irresponsible. Furthermore, if they don't try to get the credit card debt taken care of, then you'll likely find the burden of taking out any loans in the future could rest on your shoulders alone. While these signs can help you figure out if your partner is financially unstable or not, these signs can help you figure out whether you're in a toxic relationship. Learn more by watching 13 signs you're being used in a relationship, or 17 warning signs you're in a toxic relationship. So go ahead and watch one or both videos if you want to better understand your relationship. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone who was financially unstable? Let us know in the comments section below.